ibaraza la makanisa ukada wa mashariki mwa Kenya NCCK limezidi kutoa ujumbe wa amani na matumaini kwa umini wake e pasta Nathan Maige ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa NCCK Gatuzi Laisiolo amesema alicha kuemo na chagomoto chugumzima wa Kenya wadafaa kuwa na imani na kutokubali kukata tamaa katika ujumbe wake uliosomwa na Dennis Kengere mwenyekiti wa nalika kanisa la IPCA Uwaso. Today we as Christians of NCCK we are here to pass a message of hope to our people of hope of a daily living as Christians today. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 4 verse 7 to 9 it says, "But we have these treasures in jars of clay to show that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed." perplexed but not in despair persecuted but not abandoned as kenyans we have many things that we have we can mention that affect our livelihood starting with the high cost of living the delayed rains and other strains that may cause us to be tempted to see as if nothing good can come out of this world we should learn from david who spoke to the spirit in Psalms 42 why so downcast oh my soul why so disquieted within me hope in god the lord stands with us therefore we never face this com- complex dear christians today we are continue speaking and talking to our fellow christians over the church in the book of romans chapter number 4 verse 18 Against all hope Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations just as it has been said to him so shall offspring be despite many negative news and things around us it is possible to spur one another towards hope Christians we need to consider hope as one of our virtues in the book of Psalms chapter number 13 verse 13 give us a perfect answer Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. The verse here speaks to the Israel, but it can just as well speak to us as Kenyans. Hebrews 13:5 and 6 speaks that we should be hopeful in our conduct. Let your conduct be without be without any inconveniences, but be in content with which as Christians we should behold. My fellow Christians, In the book of Psalms chapter number 13 verse 12 sorry the book of Psalms chapter number 32 verse 12 when we allow God to be the Lord as a nation we shall be called blessed even amid this challenge no one will give up and despair Psalms 130 verse 7 says let Israel hope in the Lord for with the Lord there is mercy and in him is plenteous redemption Psalm chapter number 42 verse 5 it says why my soul are you in downcast why so disturbed within me but put hope in god for i will praise him my savior and my god my dear christians we are asking ourselves as christians where is our hope in go- where is our hope going to in the book of mark chapter number 5 verse 25 to 28 and a certain woman who had an issue of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things of many physical and had plenty that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse when she heard of Jesus came into the press behind and touched his garment for she said if i may touch but his clothes i shall be whole also psalms chapter number 31 verse 24 tells us how we should you should have hope be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart and he shall give you hope today the reflection that comes in our question today and a discussion that we ask ourselves as christians today is it possible to remain hopeful in every situation what are some of the things you have allowed into your life and have stolen your faith in god How can you move from a point of hopelessness to one any other hope? As Christians we need to raise our faith today and raise our hope 
in God. No matter the circumstances or no matter the situations as Christians today, let's raise our hope in God and believe we have a God that listens to us. Wherever you are as my viewer, wherever you are seeing me, I pray as Christians, let's not give up. Let's trust the Lord and let's believe that we have a God that can fight our battles. No matter the situation, no matter the challenges. Lagujina ni wajo mbeka machu.